In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the brand new launch CRP IMMO. So new for the summer of 2024 is the launch CRP IMMO. This new scan tool is a compact automotive diagnostic tool with a focus on immobilizer diagnostics. The packaging for the scan tool is very minimal. You've got a nice nylon carrying case. Inside, you're going to have manual and some instructions. You'll have the actual device. You'll have your 16 pin connection for the car and a type m charger it would have been nice to have this updated to a usb-c this new scan tool shares a lot of similar body stylings to the launch 129x version it's very small and compact with a nice rubber casing wrapping around the case on the rear of the case you do have some speakers for output you've got your charging port connection for the vehicle and the on and off button on the top here. We're going to power up the device and take a look at it. Taking a look now that the device is on, the interface is very similar to other launch models other than you have a dedicated immobilizer setting. And when you go into this option here, you'll be greeted with the list of vehicles. Quite extensive here. Back at the home screen, you'll have the normal diagnostic option here with auto VIN detection. You do have some dedicated reset functions, not many, but you've got three options here. You've got a dedicated battery option here. You've got data. So this is where a lot of your reports are going to be stored, images that you do take. You've got the mall function here. This will allow you to purchase add-ons for your device. The device does have quite a few add-ons here that you are able to buy. We've got some update settings here. So this device is new. So we're going to run an update quick and then we'll be right back. Now that the device has completed all the necessary updates, we're going to go back to the home screen now. So you can just hit this button here. It'll bring you right back to your home screen. We're going to take a final look at some of these settings. So like other launch models, this device does come with one year free updates. So in these settings, you have options to change the units of measurement, screen catcher, sound, network, time zone, language, email, recovery, and then you can clean the device up. Let's jump outside, we'll attach this to a vehicle, and I'll show you some of the options. Now that we've got the scanner connected, we're going to go into the main function of this scan tool, the immobilizer. We're going to go down and look for either Dodge or Ram. Now that we're in, we're greeted with the list of options here. We're going to go into the password reading. So I have a previous video with the launch 919X where I added an additional key to this vehicle. To add the additional key to the vehicle, you needed a security pin. My 919X wasn't actually able to read that, so I had to go to the dealership to get that pin. This scan tool, on the other hand, though, is showing that you will have that option. So we're going to go into the Dodge here. We'll go down to the year of the vehicle. functions and we're going to check to see if we can actually see this pin so the scan tool did allow us to verify the pin that I received from the dealership so this scan tool right away compared to something like the launch 919x has a lot more immobilizer functions than a more expensive scan tool 
So that right away is a great purchasing option for this. We're going to do a quick system scan. Telling us that the immobilizer system is functioning as normal. We're going to go back and see what some of the other options are that are available. So we've got the option here to erase and program new keys. Now that we're back again to the main screen here, you have the option also with this device to program the new immobilizer module if you do need to replace this vehicle. Let's go back to the main screen of the device and we're going to look at some of the other options. We're going to take a look at the standard diagnostic here for the vehicle. We'll use the auto VIN detection. With this being the more budget option for the launch scanners, when you do the health report, you're going to get access only to a couple of the modules that are available. If you do need access to additional modules like DCM and other functions like that, you'll need to look at a bigger scan tool. But if you're looking specifically for the needs of immobilizer settings and general options, this is a great scan tool for that. We're going to go in and look at some of the live data that's available. We're going to start the vehicle. So you do have quite a bit of live data for the engine here. Let's go back in and we'll take a look at the ABS module. So again, this has got some options here. So when we are pressing on the brake pedal, you can see it's released as that it is pressed. We're gonna go back to the home screen here. We're gonna take a look at the battery voltage here running pretty consistently. Going back to the main screen again, we're gonna look at the final option, which is the resets that are available. So with the three reset options, you've got your oil reset, the SAS, and the electric throttle. So overall, looking at the options and the price of this scan tool, it's a good investment. If you're in the need of adding or deleting a key for your vehicle, this is a great option compared to spending six, $700 on a scan tool that has that function. The one thing I would say to keep in mind with this being more of a budget friendly scan tool, it's not going to process as fast as some of the higher end scan tools. When you're processing updates and you're connecting into the vehicle and using some of the special functions, it may be a little bit slower than some of the higher end modules. All in all, I would recommend this scan tool though. For any additional information, leave me a comment. Also like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.